Today we are going to learn about three very important things. The first thing we are going to learn about is our mask. Everyone today here, you can see I have a mask on. Yes. yes. So today we are going to learn how to wear your mask. The mask is supposed to be used every time you go outside. It has which color? It has a blue color on the outside, a white color on the inside. And it is one to cover what and what? Who knows? To cover oh. your nose. Your nose and your mouth. Very important. It covers your nose and your mouth. So how is it going to cover your nose and your mouth? The, let us, the first, always have your hands clean before you touch your before you touch it. So I'm going to give everybody some a sunny hand sanitizer, sorry. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's a nice teacher. Everybody clean your hands. Once our hands are clean, rub it all together. Once our hands are clean, we are going to put it over over your mouth and nose. So this top part should always be up to cover your nose leaving your eyes open. These two straps should be tied up here, above your ears. The other, the other part to cover your chin, and the lower straps to just below the bottom part of your head. Let, me, let us see everybody. Oh, clap for yourselves. So this is when we all have to go outside, but for now, are boys and girls allowed to go outside? No. No. Unfortunately, we may not be allowed to go and play our football outside or go for swimming or go and say our neighbor or ride your bike. For now, we are going to stay indoors, be obedient children, help our parents. You can help them by doing what, Janet? Washing the dishes. Washing the dishes. Washing, wiping the floor. Wiping the floor. Cleaning your books, excellent. We can do all those things for now, hoping that tomorrow we'll be able to go outside. The last thing and most important thing we are going to learn about today is how to wash our hands. Why are we learning about washing our hands? Because our hands carry germs. Germs are small little things that people cannot see. Is it possible for my hands to have germs? Yes. yes. But I cannot see the germs. But do you think I still have germs? Yes. yes. Do children get germs on their hands? Yes. When not. Playing. Yes. So not only parents can have germs, children can also have germs. But now we are going to wash our hands more times than normal because of a very important germ that is now moving around today. Who has heard about it? Yes. It is called the coronavirus. Yes, it's a virus called the coronavirus. It's called COVID-19. It's called COVID-19 virus. It's a, a very, it's a very, a very tiny germ that you can, that you and I cannot see with your, our eyes, but it is moved through our hands. So today we are going to learn how to wash our hands. Our parents are washing our hands. So do children need to wash their hands? Yes. Very good. So how do you wash our hands? We are going to learn how to wash our hands. The first thing we are going to do. We are going to, to, to ask one of our students, Teacher Janet, please come. Uh, we are going to open for her the water. She's going to wet her hands a bit. Put some soap. And as Janet learns, we are going to learn together. Mm -hmm. So we are going to put soap on our hands, everybody. Make sure there's a lot of soap on your hand. And then one, you're going to put your left hand above your right hand. The other hand as well, top over bottom. Rub, rub on top. And then we're going to put our fingers in between, in between the fingers, up and down. Up and down. The other hand as well, up and down, up and down. The next step we're going to do is wash your thumb, the left, left hand. Wash the thumb of the right hand. Wash in between the palm of your left hand. Again, in, the, in between the palm of your right hand. Let us also wash our wrists. Wrists. And wash, rub it all together. 
Excellent. Now we are going to rinse our hands. Very good. So once you're through, you should always close the tap with a, a towel, a clean towel, and also allow your hands to dry. Thank you, teacher Janet. Please have a seat. Ensure that you've dried your hands and ensure that when you touch the tap, you do not touch the tap with your clean hands. Use a towel to, to close the tap. I'd like us to learn a song on how we are going to wash our hands. Are we ready to do that? Yes. It's a very simple song that will help us to wash our hands many, many, many times. Who is ready? We are ready. Good. So this song goes like this. Top on bottom, top, top on, on bottom, bottom, in between, in, in between. between. Rub it all together, rub, rub it, it all together. together. Squeaky clean, squeaky, squeaky clean. clean. Very good. Can we try again? Yeah. Yes. Are we ready to try again? Yes. Let's try again. Tops on bottom, tops on bottom, in between, in between. Rub it all together, rub it all together. Squeaky clean, squeaky clean. Thank you very much. Let's give ourselves a clap. Now that we have learned how to wash our hands, children, make sure that we wash our hands as many, many times as possible. Parents, don't forget to assist your child at home as they wash their hands and always remind them to wash them as many times as they can. We shall have our memory verse and, and our Bible story on Sunday. We ask the parents to help your child join us on our AIC YouTube channel where we shall have our Sunday school teachers teaching you on our lesson for that day. You're very welcome.